just as Jews in the 19th century were kind of emancipated, but on the understanding basically that they had to identify themselves as belonging not to a people, but to a religion, to something called Judaism, which was, um, you know, Christian nihilism. No Jew used that until the 19th century. Um, so likewise, um, in uh, modern Europe, um, in the, the, the decades that have seen a growing Muslim population in Europe, the obligation on Muslims is very similar, that they have freedom of religion, yes, but the kind of implicit implication of that is that they have to Christianize themselves. And this is kind of all the more insidious for the fact that most secularists do not see themselves as having been shaped by the inheritance of Christian theology. They see themselves as objective, as neutral. Uh, and of course, it's, it's difficult to, to, to kind of emphasize, to, to, to kind of point this out too sharply, because in a, in a sense, the entire functioning of a secular democracy relies on the conceit that the framework of the secular is neutral, that it, 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 you know, it is a, a kind of neutral ring, a neutral space in which Christians and Muslims and Jews and Hindus and everybody can be treated equally. But in fact, it's much easier for Christians mm -hmm. to exist in a secular state where you have the notion of church and state, because as the phrase church and state suggests, it's an inherently Christian categorization. So that in a sense was the perspective that I, I brought to, to, to writing Dominion. It was one that was shaped by my desire to look at how the evolution of Christianity and the way that it's been the kind of the dominant way of, of understanding the world um, in, uh, in, in Britain for you know a thousand years and more, the way that it has uh, has shaped how we in Britain understand the the pre-Christian past, but also how it has shaped how how um, uh, British imperialism has uh, and Western imperialism more generally has shaped the way that um, uh, the the broader world sees itself. <laughs>